scuffle breaks out as both teams remember last year and the grudge matches. Jerome Brown and Crawford Kerr mix it up here early on. So Buddy Ryan calls his team together and says, hey guys, we can beat this team without the fist of the cuff. It's America's team, but not in Philadelphia. Cowboys passing game looked good early. Steve Pelur hits Ray Alexander. He then fights his way past three Eagles into the end zone, 18 yards, seven nothing for the Dallas Cowboys. They are on top as Alexander would have a big day, as would Steve Pelur. 32 completions for 342 yards in the touchdown. He hits Ray Alexander once again. This one covers 26 yards. And Alexander almost gets this one into the end zone as well before he's knocked out at the one-yard line. Timmy Newsom then barges in for the touchdown. 14-0 Dallas. Eagles last five games outscored 63-0. One reason, Mike Quick. He's been injured, and he's in the booth, not on the field. Tight end Keith Jackson picks up the slot. This is a tight end, right? Look at him run with the ball after he gets it, bowling people over like a running back and with the speed of a wide receiver. Same drive, ball on the 11-yard line. Randall Cunningham, Gary Cobb tips the ball, but Keith Byers makes the catch, and the Cowboys' lead is now just 20-7. At the end of the half, Dallas is victimized by a lack of timeout. Fleur completes the pass to Kelvin Martin, but the Cowboys, with 14 seconds left when the catch is made, do not get the playoff as they try and down the ball with one second left. The Cowboys' lead at the half is just 20 to 7 as Tom Landry sees a wasted opportunity. Fourth quarter, 23-10. The Eagles on the comeback. Anthony Tony runs into the end zone from seven yards up. Billy cuts the deficit 23-17. Buddy Ryan's team needs seven points. Down by six. So Randall Cunningham says, bring in the veteran Jimmy Giles and I'll go to him. The move pays off. Fourth and eight with 150 left. Cunningham finds Giles just enough for the first down. More clutch receiving. Cunningham to Greg Garrity over the middle as he zips it in there. The ball's on the 47, and there's 123 left on the clock. Cunningham one more time. It's Ron Johnson, 20 yards on this play, and the Eagles are now down to the Dallas 28-yard line. The key play, 44 seconds left, looking for Giles. It's incomplete, but interference is called against Michael Downs, and that was possibly questionable. The officials confer. Tom Landry could not believe it, but life is still breathing in the Philadelphia Eagles. Defensive coordinator Ernie Stotner then starts barking up the signals. 26 seconds left in the game. Ball on the 15-yard line. Cunningham to Greg Garrity, beating Ron Francis, and he comes close to fighting his way towards the end zone, but cannot get it in. They get the ball back down it and stop the clock. The game is in Randall Cunningham's hands, as it has been so often for the great Eagle quarterback. Eight seconds left, ball on the two. Cunningham rolls to his right, finds Anthony Tony, who beats Ron Burton, 23-23. It's a tie game with four seconds left, and the former Cowboy, Luis Zendejas, would come on to kick the extra point. If it's good, they win. It's up. It is good. John Elway, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Chuck Noll, but you had to wonder. You gonna back Chuck Noll into a corner? I think I want him on my side next time you get him in that position. Dan Reeves knew what position Noll was in, had the nice tie, but didn't look as marvelous for the rest of the day. Blackledge hands off to Rodney Carter, and he could go all the way. Touchdown. He does go all the way, 64 yards, and the Steelers lead it early. Blackledge was great, wasn't he, Tom? Yeah, I, I see him here going off the field, giving the high fives and patting the hands. He did a lot on that play. Nice handoff. Still in the first quarter, Denver on third and eight from the uh, seven-yard line. Kubiak from the shotgun. Tommy, on the pregame show, you called him Cool Hand Luke. Eh, uh, maybe Hot Hand Luke. Brian Hinkle with the INT sets up a touchdown. 14-0 Steelers. Rough day for Kubiak. John Elway watching on the sidelines on the inactive list. Todd Blackledge at the controls again for the Steelers. And he goes to number 83, Lewis Lips, who makes an interesting catch. Whoop. And, yes, he comes down with it, leads to another touchdown. Denver defense, Tommy, a lot of holes. Denver defense tied to Reed and get off those blocks. Here you see the middle people getting off a little bit late, leaving the job of Mike Harden at free safety. Second half of the game with the Steelers with a big lead. Kubiak steps up in the pocket. But Cornell Gowdy says howdy. And he will go down the field. He will step out at the 12-yard line. Sets up a field goal. The Steelers lead at this point 30-7. to Ken Karcher comes in the game in the fourth quarter. And he looks like John Elway, right? 74-yard bomb to Ricky Natil makes it 36-21.
Karcher in relief uh, through 428 yards in the TD pass. But it was a record-setting day for Gary Anderson. He had to steal a record of five field goals in a game. Doink! When you're hot, you're hot. He caroms in the sixth one. Six field goals for Anderson. And uh, the Steelers open it up. No huddles, reverses, halfback options. Carter with 105 yards. Steelers 39, Denver 21. The two winningest coaches in Rams history faced each other, Chuck Knox for Seattle and John Robinson. He's number two behind Mr. Knox, but Robinson would win this battle of the coaching greats from the Rams. Greg Bell up and over from one yard out, his 11th touchdown of the year, and he leads the National Football League 7 up. Jim Everett didn't have much of a problem today. Scores now 10 to 3 Los Angeles, and Everett drops back and looks and tosses this one off his back foot, 37 yards. Del Pino for the touchdown. The point after is good, 17 to three for the Rams. On the other side, it was a tough day for the rookie, Kelly Stopper. Watch this pass to John L. Williams. Williams absolutely has no chance on this one as it just sails over his head before he even turns around. And Knox lets Stopper know exactly how he feels about this one, chewing out the young rookie. For John Robinson, a very calm day on the sidelines. Everett would have another good day on the play fake here. Finds Damone Johnson on fourth and goal for the touchdown. Wide open in the end zone, 24 to three. Los Angeles at the half, and Knox is taking his knocks today. Things didn't get much better. Third quarter, Everett on fire. Hooks up with Willie Anderson. 51 yards on this bomb as he hauls it down before he's hauled down at the 30. On the next play, 32 yards to Aaron Cox. Nine touchdowns in the last three games for Everett. It's 31 to three Los Angeles. The game is over. The LA defense was just too much. Doug Reed stops Kurt Warner cold. It was a real sleeper for some of the Los Angeles fans. Chuck Knox was wide awake watching this. He drops to four and four, but still tied for first. The Rams are six and two and one back of the.